so excited to be here updating you. I'm so sorry that it's been two weeks since I've done an update. I have been interstate visiting family and then I had family come and visit me from interstate when I got back. So I've been unable to do videos because my family don't know about my channel. But I'm here now. First things first, I just want to say thank you so much to all my subscribers who commented on my previous videos, especially my unfortunate update video and my PCOS video. Your comments were so beautiful and it's just so lovely to have that support from the TTC community. I've been trying really hard to respond to all of them, but like I said, I was interstate and I've been quite busy with family visiting. So I've tried to respond to all of them. I'm sorry that it took so long to get back to you, but I, I think I've responded to all of them now. Where are we with TTC? I mentioned in my last video that we were unsure whether we were going to continue to try and conceive because my partner is getting deployed next year and any pregnancies from here on out, the birth date would fall while he's overseas. So we were tossing up between continuing to try and conceive and putting it off until he comes back from deployment. Ultimately, it was his decision. I was happy to try and continue to conceive. I'm happy to go through it alone. It was more the fact that he is going to miss the first five, six, seven months of his child's life if we do continue to try and conceive. So that was completely up to him. I'm happy either way. He has thought about it and at first he said that he wanted to stop trying to conceive because he wanted to be there for his the first seven months of his child's life. However, he thought about it some more and he came to me and he said that we've been trying to conceive for seven months now and nothing has come of it. He doesn't want to waste any opportunity that could result in a pregnancy and a healthy baby. So he has decided that we are going to continue to try and conceive, which is really exciting. Where are we now? As you know, I had a miscarriage last cycle. I ovulated on cycle day six of last cycle. so. My ovulation dates aren't the same each cycle. I've got very irregular periods and very irregular cycles. So since AF finished last cycle, which was my miscarriage, I have been doing OPKs every day and I wasn't getting any positives for three weeks, which I know is quite common after a miscarriage. However, I got my first positive OPK on cycle day 25 of this cycle. Hey guys, so... Sorry, I have to be really quiet. My father is visiting from Brisbane, so I have to be quiet. He doesn't know about the channel, so these two are two ovulation tests, and they are very positive, in my opinion. I've just did a clear blue test, ovulation test. I dipped it about three minutes ago, so it should be oh, okay. So. That's peak fertility, guys, so I'll be baby dancing probably for the next three days, and we'll see how we go. I'll keep you updated. So I got my first positive OPK on cycle day 24 of this cycle, and then I tested again the next day on cycle day 25 and got a high but negative result, which is normal. Then for some reason, I decided to test again the next day on cycle day 26, and I got another positive OPK, so I was very confused about that. We covered all our bases though, we baby danced from cycle day 24 when I got my first positive OPK through till cycle day 26 when I got my second positive OPK. So I think we've covered all our fertile days there regarding when I ovulated. I have no idea because I don't know what two LH surges mean, I have no idea but whatever. So now I am currently cycle day 29. So I ovulated on cycle day, well I'm going to go with the second LH surge just because I don't want to be testing early. So I'm currently three DPO going from the second surge. So that is very exciting to be in another two week wait, my first two week wait since the miscarriage. I have no idea when AF is due because of the previous miscarriage and ovulating on cycle day 25, which is obviously quite late. However, my cycles are generally 35 days long anyway, so you never know. Like I said, I'm currently three DPO. So I just want to say that I, and I'd love some help or some comments or some advice on this. I don't temp. I don't do my basal temperature at all, mostly because 
I work shift work. So I'm up sometimes at three o'clock in the morning. Sometimes I'm working until midnight. So I can't do a regular time of, of temping. So I don't, I don't follow that. However, I've heard that if you do fall pregnant after ovulation, your temperature rises and it stays up. I was stupid enough to take my temperature today thinking that it would mean something. And I got a temperature of 36.5 degrees Celsius or 97.7 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's quite normal for me, I think, not being pregnant. So, but I don't temp, so I don't know whether that means anything or whether it means I'm not pregnant because my temperature's not higher than 36.5, but I, I'm not too sure the exact temperature that I am normally anyway because I don't do basal body temperature. So made the mistake of doing that, but you know, whatever. I don't know what to think of that, but we'll see. 3DPO is very early to be having symptoms, so I haven't really been having any, although I feel like I had more last cycle when I was pregnant early on. I have been having some twinges on my right side and then sometimes on my left as well, which makes me think it's probably nothing because it's on both sides. I've got a lot of pimples, as you can see, I've got one here and here and they're just everywhere. I've tried to cover them with makeup. <laughs> So, but that's quite normal for me as well. I always have pimples. I had cramps yesterday, so two DPO, and I it honestly felt like AF was coming because it was menstrual cramps. It felt like very mild menstrual cramps. So I thought for sure AF was coming because I have no idea when AF is due because of ovulating on cycle day 25, so, or 26, I think it was. Anyway, so that's where I'm at now. I'm currently in my two week wait, which is very exciting. I don't know how I feel about this two week wait. I don't think I'm feeling very positive about it because I'm not getting a whole lot of symptoms, but like I said, it's still very early. It's three DPO. I'm going to try my hardest to refrain from testing until 10 DPO. Last cycle I didn't get a positive until 11. I tested 9, 10 and 11 and I got a negative on 9 DPO, a negative on 10 DPO and then a positive on 11 DPO. So I'm going to start testing on 10 DPO this time and I will be recording that and uploading it regardless of the result. So guys, thank you so much for watching my update. Thank you so much for all your beautiful comments. Like I said, I really, really appreciate them. I will keep you updated throughout the week. My husband goes away outfield for a month on Thursday. It's currently Tuesday, so he goes away in two days for a month. So I'm on annual leave at the moment, so I have all the time in the world to do videos and update you guys. So I will talk to you throughout the week. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed if you want to follow our TTC journey. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.